Hey okay, guys. So right now, at the time of this recording, at least the internet in our house is down. So I can't play an online game. But that's okay, I guess. Because we can still play games and then I can upload these af once we have the internet back. Oh, apparently that's a very heavy creeper. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, I'd say. What do you do? Strawberry? Why is it a firework strawberry? Alright. I mean, I know we've looked at a lot of this stuff already, but like... No. Alright. Well, we'll start by retrieving our map that we made last episode and let's just load it in and now let's put it on the ground so that it actually fits of course there we go it actually looks really good I don't know why I can highlight these cause like the person who made this Vietnam map you couldn't highlight the blocks. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, it's just a little bit annoying. Alright. So let's actually set this up for, like, actual warfare, you know? So first let's get ourselves some, like, furniture. Oh no, all the mods is really gonna make this a pain in the ass. Like, we're gonna- I think- I'm thinking like a- a meeting table in either bunker. Oh, this might actually be pretty good. Like, if we do that, then we can disable collisions when we want somebody to walk through it. And then we can enable. And that'll act like a door, essentially. These stairs are actually. Cardboard wall. That's smart. It says it said flimsy in the description, but it doesn't seem that flimsy. It's actually pretty durable. I don't know if that qualifies as flimsy. That banging sound was just ambient noise. That was not from this. That is really loud. Oh, my volume's all the way up because my teacher, my teacher did not audio balance their teaching video, so I couldn't hear. It anything at all. So I turn my volume all the way to the max to hear anything. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about when they said that was not very durable because it seemed pretty durable. Anyway, um, let's go back here. Let's just grab a table. I guess we'll have to search up our individual items. Why is there a P? There we go. I do like how the, uh, what's the difference? I'm gonna use bl plain wooden chairs because they're smaller and also it makes more sense to have... What is with the ambient sounds? It's interesting. Alright, and then I want to put a jukebox because that seems like the kind of thing you would have in a World War II bunker. And then we'll resize it so that it looks like it's facing forward. I mean, that doesn't really work, but... And we'll weld that. We'll uh, attach. Or wait, why do we need to do that? We'll just freeze it, and then we'll also disable collision. That way, our dudes can sit back. Do we? Do I have the radio mod enabled right now? And by enable, I mean does it work? It doesn't. Like this is the uh, base radio, but it doesn't do anything. It just transmits signals without using wires, which is clever and all, but like, it's not what I want here. All right. Um. What kind of plates do we have? Just normal plates. That's fine. <laughs> I typed a C, not a D. All right. There's no candelabras or anything involving candles. I mean, we could just use the scales of justice, but that doesn't really work here. I'm trying to set this up so that it's like a 
plausible, um, it's a plunker that's actually, like, kind of okay when it comes to realism. Alright, um, experimental. Experimental, such as the custom head solution. Oh, yeah, that didn't look fun. All right, clear to be, because you don't want any of that. I mean, we might use it to like put it around the battlefield, have like sharp pieces of glass and pieces of wood and stuff jutting out of the ground. But as of right now, it doesn't matter. Right. Um, pumpkin. There's a lot of pumpkin guns and stuff. All I need is a normal pumpkin. Does it have a soul? It does have a soul. Those are gone forever. Oh wait, this one made it out. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count as debris. Maybe it's because I enable collisions. I mean, because pumpkin, these pumpkins can be, kind of look like any, f they could look like anything really. Those are freaking gone, I swear. Okay, I'll just toss, I'll just yeet that out of there. Oh, I guess that's one way to break it. I didn't intend on it flying up in the air. That did it. <laughs> just kind of like blew it into pieces on the face of the earth. Why do I keep losing grip on items? Why do you keep doing this? The fact that I now have to search everything that pains me. Oh my god, the plates are too delicate. I'm telling you. What? You cannot set anything down on these freaking plates, I swear to god. They're too freaking fragile. Alright, we'll put like one plate and we'll just put it in the center here. If I can please grab it, thank you. There we go. Alright, and now over here we'll have well first we'll have I mean we'll have soldiers and stuff, but I also want to build a mounted MG. The problem is, due to the fact that it's two-dimensional, I can't, like, have, you know, rows of people, so it doesn't work all too well, but we'll figure it out. I can just make the MG zero, no collisions. That'll work just fine. Like, if we do that, and then we attach our... Th we'll pretend that... Hold on. So this will be our bipod. I know it has a bipod on it, but that'll make it actually rotate correctly. And then, um, see, here's the issue. I can't make it tilt correctly. Maybe we put just like a, uh, I guess we can make it so that like, it has like a rope, like so. And then if we disable collision, we can like yank it up and stuff, but it doesn't actually collide with other items. That should work. I know it's kind of uh, funky, but it works. Oh, that is a very nice sound, actually. I like that. All right, so now we have an MG mounted here, and I guess this is the German side or something. And I think I'm gonna put a tower on either side as well. Not a tall one, just a small one. One that we can put a little sniper in. Why can't I type in this freaking box? Thank you. We'll place one here. Place one here. Place one here. Yeah, I keep spontaneously losing grip of the items. That's weird. Why did I use shift like that? There we go. 
And if I put a person here, that should be not too tall. Yeah, that's actually pretty perfect. All right, and then we'll copy and paste that over to the other side. And then we'll put a roof on it, like so. And then we'll attach it all together. That is the right, yeah, that's the right attachment. All right, just making sure. All right. And just because they look nice, I'm going to do those for the crosses and these like so. And then I'm going to kill, well not kill, but delete you because you don't need to be here. And then let's put a sniper rifle in here. What kind of sniper rifle do we want? Not too powerful. Something World War II era should work. Because, I mean, World War One to World War Two is kind of the idea of the setup. It's not perfectly specific because I'm not good enough with history to know what guns were actually in what war. This person doesn't like PUBG, apparently. Alright, so now we should be able to mount you like so. And chances are when I'm aiming these, I'm not actually going to attach the person to them. So now that gives us sniper coverage over the whole area. Perfect. There's a teeny tiny crack here. Can I fix that? I can. There we go. Alright. That's another part solved. Um, actually, let's do the same thing we did with the MG42 and just disable your collision so that you don't collide with anything else. Perfect. Um, and I actually am going to use the... Is it a siren? No. Oh, I should actually put a TV in these. Oh, now it works. I don't know why it wasn't working early. Alright, and a little freeze you and also disable it. Oh, I should put barbed wire in front of these. Alright, let's put you... We'll resize you so that, you know, you're like mounted on the wall, kind of. We'll angle you like that. And we'll put some destructible bindings here and here. And then we'll stop resizing so that you actually... And then we can turn on the TV and the That's people at the table can watch it. Which that is always, that is a little bit too late. Now, do you work? Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly the right kind of siren, but it works. Alright, now what... Right, barbed wire. And we can copy and paste some of the uh, constructions that we made. Like, I, when I make this barbed wire, I'm probably going to save it. I might make it out of nails. No. Doesn't look right. I need, like... Ooh. If this wasn't red, then that would actually work pretty well. And I'm thinking about having actual, like, wooden poles here that have no collisions. Or actually, no, I'll make them have collisions. And then I'll mount, like four-sided spikes on them, which is actually perfect for you. So let's just try that. Let's see if this works. Actually, let's assemble this away from our construction. And let's copy the whole thing before we mess with it anymore. Alright, because who knows if this thing will glitch out and fly into oblivion, right? Alright. Now if we just like temporarily attach you to the ground. And then what we do is we take you and we and we get more of you like so. And we just attach you like so. So that's very spiky and sharp. That's not the intention. Right, and then if we attach you guys by spring and then we take this whole assembly and we put it right here and we uh, disable collision of you alright well we need to give it a limit to how far it can springy so let's just give it a row 
Which I know partially defeats the purpose, but it also doesn't because it's still a little springy. Plus the spring just makes it look nicer. More like barbed wire. Actually, I got a better idea. Hold on. Let's just delete all of the constraints here. And then let's drag you over. And what if we did something like this? We took spring, we attached you to the top and to the bottom like that. And then I guess we could attach you by the sides as well while we're at it. And then if we drag you over, well you, it won't support it, that's the problem. Is it because I'm setting up the springs in freeze time mode? So it's like thinking that they're at th that length. Let's try this instead. I think the springs are just too weak. Yeah. There we go. So now if you hit it, you can like spring it around and stuff. Now let's try it on a person. Oh, that's really small. I forgot to do scale testing again. Okay. Well, I mean, one way we can do it is we just resize and then we make you bigger. And move you up. And grab another person. Oh, now it's too big. Also, I don't know if you can stab yourself on resized items. You can't. It doesn't look like. I could have sworn they fixed that, though. Alright. Let's delete the whole thing. And let's just take, like, a stick. Actually, yeah. Let's just... Let's just build, like, a super spiky... We can even use a police baton if we want to. Let's just build it... At, like... That height's actually pretty good. Let's just resize it so it's a little bit bigger. Alright. And then we'll string. If we did use shurikens, maybe if we resize them like this. No, because we just discovered that resizing doesn't seem to allow them to actually stab, so. <coughs> Steel knife. That might work. I want it to be more like barbed wire, but like. It's hard to get that to work right. Alright, well let's attach all of you together. Now let's say a person's like, oh no. and then proceeds to stab his arm on it because he's a dumbass. I mean, this stuff will slowly kill you. There's no doubt about that. I will grab you. And we'll... Well, let's delete this attachment first and then let's grab you. Place you over here. Right in front of you, this. Actually, no, we'll place it a little more forward, forward like that. And then we'll freeze you. And then just save a collision you because that should that should work now. If we if we take a random person, let's say let's take a smart person and just straight up walk into it, see if it's sharp enough. How did you turn around? Is that a thing? That's interesting. Set team? And we can do that. So I guess that's how we like we can ignore breathing. Stab. That doesn't work. Probably because you're facing the wrong freaking direction. Alright, let's control you. Don't turn around. Just walk straight into that barbed wire. Oh no, I stabbed myself on barbed wire. It's really, I don't know if it's sh not sharp enough or it's just the, the dude that I'm using. He's trying to run away and walk towards, and then I'm commanding him to walk towards it. 
Ooh, he's very stuck now. All right. Well, that works. If you guys want to put in suggestions for this, by the way, feel free, because I won't be able to design the whole thing myself. All right. And then on the other side, well, we can copy and paste some things, like this whole area. If we just take you and me copy and then we go away over here and we paste. And let me select the whole thing in such a way that... It oh, it didn't select the, uh, pumpkin. That's okay. And then we put you back in, and then we put you against the back wall. See, they have more space. <laughs> Lucky. I get... I don't actually remember who was doing better in the, f in the First World War. But somebody's lucky. Alright, um, and then what do we put over here? Maybe we'll just leave it empty space. That only seems reasonable. Maybe we'll add in guns later. Alright, and then let's copy this whole tower. And we'll paste it over here, except with a M1 Garand inside. So we're gonna remove that. We'll take it, we'll place it down so that it's not in a bad spot, we'll do that. Alright, now let's grab an M1 Garand. Or, I mean, I don't know if the if we have the M1908 rifle in here, which was kind of the uh, designated sniper. The, desi the DMR for the Americans in the Second World War. And or the First World War. We could use an SVT, but I doubt it. Alright, so I'm just going to have that selected. And then if I don't find anything better, we'll stay with it. Yeah, let's just do that. This is going well so far. That works. All right, now we have a sniper tower on either side. That works. Um, now then, I think we need to add like flooring and stuff in these trenches. Yeah, the the Germans have a less nice trench. It's I don't think it's as deep. It's not as deep or as wide or as big internally either. So, you know. All right, let's grab sti stick, a Minecraft stick, right. and we can add like a staircase, I suppose. Like, I mean, we can add like a ladder. I'm just gonna put these at like here. Let's we'll just stick a bunch of sticks into the wall at varying lengths and pretend it's a ladder. Like that. And we'll take this. We'll freeze all of these. I think I'm having mouse troubles. I don't know if it's actually a problem or if I'm just not holding the mouse. Oh, it's not even lighting up. Hold on. It's probably just not plugged in well. Give me a second, guys. Is that better? Nope. Alright, I just plugged it back in. It's lighting up now. Oh, it's not working now. <laughs> Where's my mouse at? Yeah, it's at the top right there. It's not moving. It probably j is just trying to reinstall driver software. Why is my keyboard not working? What? Why did change... Oh, there we go. Right, hold on. Let's go to our desktop here. Actually, screw this. It is really... I don't know if it's lagging or what. Oh. Man, I don't even know if it's still recording. That doesn't look good. Oh, mouse is alive again. 
it closed the record. Wait, did it? Is it still alive? How was it live? It just like closed and relaunched. All right, well my mouse is working better now. It's actually lighting up, so that's good. Yeah, my mouse is like fancy and has lights on it. Wait, where's my? Oh right, I put it over here instead. All right, I guess we'll we'll save you because why not? And then that way we can respawn it in the other direction anyway. Is that Henry Stickman? Let it load, but is that Henry Stickman? It looks like Henry Stickman. We will find out as soon as it... I don't understand why save takes so long to save sometimes. It's weird. All right. And I think we'll save this whole thing in a second here. And then we can save over it as time progresses. I don't think it's a specific Stickman, but it looks like Henry Stickman. I don't, but I don't think it's based off of any particular Stickman. Right. I think I'm still having... Oh. Alright, that's weird. I'll just save this. Is that the same name that I gave the other one? I don't think so. Yeah, that one had base in its name, so Trench Warfare Map should work. Uh-oh. Well, let's give it a minute. I'll be right back. I need to grab my phone. back. Alright. Is the recording stuff? It is. I can't believe it's still working after like that giant crack. Alright. Now let's look. Barm. Alright. We have you. Yeah. Alright. So we can respawn it in like so. I just removed the stick. F yeah. We'll leave that there. It's not like it's really that important. And then we'll take you, and we'll actually put you right in front of this little mini trench here. Because this trench is probably going to have, like, I don't know, a machine gun in it or something. Maybe it'll just have, like, some crates or something. I don't know. Alright, um, and we'll put on our sticks here. I wonder if there are sharp sticks. Is that in one of the mods? It doesn't look like. Why did it lag to spawn in this? Oh. Oh no. The game is not doing well. My computer is very angry. Alright, that works. This is going well so far. Alright, now I think let's fill in... Well, first let's put some, like, crates or something in here. Hollow crate. Oh yeah, these are cool. Alright, so actually, yeah, that's... Let's take you and actually put you, like, back here. I didn't put a machine gun nest yet. I need to do that. A Minecraft TV. Alright. Alright, um... Yeah, and then let's put some grenades and stuff inside. So let's put a couple grenades. Uh, well, since this is American side, we'll give them the uh, MK2 or whatever. I, I swear I had a mod for it. Oh, there we go. MK3 AT. We'll just say that that's... Alright, and then we'll put some smaller grenades. And maybe like one random stick grenade and one Molotov. Oh. Alright. We'll just fill it with stuff. 
because why not? And then we'll also put some small firearms like 357 Magnum, sure. I know that American soldiers had the, um, had a, they had like little revolvers, uh, Webleys. So I guess let's put some of those. It's a single action, but that's fine. Alright, and then we can put like a, I don't know how much space we have. It's pretty full. But I think we can fit a single rifle in there. Probably an assault rifle, or like a uh, semi-automatic, something like that. Oh, actually, no, let's put a trench shotgun. That's the wrong type of shotgun. Where's our trench shotgun? I know we have a mod for it. I know I have a mod for a lot of things, but it, for some reason, some of the mods don't work. Doom shotgun, doom super shotgun. A lot of doom shot. I know we have a trench shotgun somewhere in here. We have to. Because that would like be the, like the best option. Some 1911s actually work quite nicely because the Americans did have 1911s. Oh, uh, the Mauser will be good to put in because I think we'll put a crate in the other side as well. Well, I guess we can use a Mossberg if we can't find a trench shotgun. But I think we'll be able to find it. I doubt it's just gone. Then again, my entire bomber is gone, so I shouldn't say that. Ooh, Gewehr 43, which is uh, World War One slash World War Two. Oh, there's the M18, the M19 rifle. I'll toss that up here. That's an M18. Never mind. I read that wrong. <laughs> My bad. Uh, but we can put a well rod in there. Because that's American. Well, it's British, but it's good enough for me. It's a it's a pistol that's bolt. It's a bolt action uh, stealth pistol developed by the British. It's for stealth missions. Hence the fact that I said stealth like three times. I would put in. Uh, actually, I might put in people that have actual clothes. So if this is the American side, do we have the American soldiers? I don't think we do. I'm not going to actually mess around that much. I think I'll just... I, well, it doesn't matter right now. I don't think I should put in people yet, actually. We'll just toss in some... Uh, we'll just toss in some uh, normal humans. Or some... Uh, sorry, some smart humans. Here we go. That is an awfully big crate. I didn't realize that. You're fine. You don't need to run away from the barb. Alright, never mind. We'll put in people later, but at least I know that this little trench here is the right size. Alright. Now we'll put up... Actually, if somebody decides to open fire with the machine gun, it's gonna fry this freaking crate. That's fine. I don't mind. Alright, um... I don't know where the uh, trench shotgun is. We might need it. I mean, we could just use a super laggy super shotgun. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find any um, LMGs that are American. I don't know if I have any. I might have to use the uh, base game LMG, which is a modern weapon, but it probably will be fine. I don't think it's too much more powerful than... I mean, we could put an M2 Browning, I guess. Oh, it was actually in the end of World War... So this is actually fitting. I thought the M2 Browning was a modern... LMG. Alright, we'll toss some rigid cables down. And then we'll give it a limiter. Like so. And then... Actually, no, wait. We'll do like this. Like so. So now we can... Crap, wrong way. There we go. And now if we disable collision, it won't go into the ground. But we can still aim it up and down. Perfect. So that actually... I didn't realize the, M the M2 Browning was an American... 
what, or I knew it was American rather. Um, I didn't know that it was, and then oh, I didn't know that it was a World War One invention though. All right, we'll put in a Panzerfaust, which is an anti-tank. It's it's German, but like I doubt that anybody has created the uh, M18 recoilless rifle in this game. Which a little piece of history is a what? It's an interesting weapon where it um it fires when it fires it it pushes gas both forward and backward, so it actually um so it actually um. It produces the same amount of force forwards and backwards. I know I just said that, but what that means is that you can actually, um, s which it, due to the fact that it does that, it actually, um, makes it have, like, no recoil, which is super cool. Alright, let's get our assault Luger P08. Plenty of those. Um, we'll actually toss some grenades in here. Probably only steel, steel hand grenades, the German stick grenade, because. I doubt that I have. Well, we'll toss some Roman grenades as well. We'll uh, let those settle. Nice. And then let's go back into guns, make sure we get the uh, Mauser. We'll toss one revolver in there, because that can kind of be for both sides. I don't know if the Germans actually knew used any revolvers, but like, might as well add it. Alright, and then let's see, there's... <laughs> the FP40. I know that's a modern invention, but it's not really that powerful, and it'll probably be fine. Alright, where is the Mauser? There's another Luger of a different size. Ah, oh, there it is. Ooh, that's not good. Is it too full now? Yeah, it's too full. Alright, we'll delete you two. And then what else? Alright, it's it's full now. We'll toss a uh, anti-tank behind you. That was violent. Why aren't you working? There's plenty of space in here. Never mind, there isn't plenty of space. We'll just toss you like in over here, just on the ground. So why not? Alright, now we carefully move the crate forward and then we put... That was not careful for sure. We'll toss our uh, anti-tank up in there. And then I guess we can save it and then we can add humans and save it as a different version. But first let's just double check. Like I wanna, I wanna add some wreckage out here so... We'll toss some more crates actually. Toss a crate here, crate here. That should be enough. And then let's actually put like wreckage of a building. We'll just like build some like little structures like that. Except not really. Hold on. Let me grab a person so I have some scaling. You. Yeah, that's good. All right. That should work. We'll freeze these two. And then we'll attach you by steel bindings. And that can act as a shelter that uh, MG soldiers can like prop up their gun inside. And then over here we'll add just a little like half destroyed concrete wall here. And a piece of concrete here. Because the concrete is destructible, so it works pretty well for this. And you know, we'll put a wall right in front of it. Like so. Alright, and now we can grab... Let me unfreeze time. We can toss some little weapons like brass knuckles, a couple of shurikens, maybe a crowbar. Hopefully that's not too big, and a hammer some basic smaller items and then over here we'll also toss a hammer because the hammer makes sense we'll toss a random fork a screwdriver and we'll put a crowbar out on this out on this hill that is so why is it so loud when it clangs that's really annoying
Um, we'll toss a random cross. I know that bows weren't really a thing. Never mind. Apparently, the map is made of stronger stuff than that, so that's not happening. All right. Um, you can toss like a knife though. A knife in these, and maybe a knife in this if it can fit. Oh yeah, it'll fit. You just toss it right here. There we go. No, we'll toss one just out on the battlefield, cause that's not dangerous. And you know what? We'll put one on the table too. Like they were messing with their knives and stabbing them into the tables. I know that they they played that one game where you like spread your hand out on a table and you like stab between your fingers over and over and over again. That game, just totally safe. That's that was a trend a little while ago. All right, we'll put a random nail. I want this map to be like really good for this. All right, clearly this area is missing something. I want to use destructible items, and most of them are in the question mark section. Random anvil. All right. A tiny BB, because why not? We could toss some. To <laughs> it's the battle for the toilet paper. Why not, right? We'll just put like a roll of toilet paper right there. And then we'll keep looking. Random cardboard box. Does that? No, you can't put anything inside. A beer. Why not? It only makes sense to me. Grab it and rotate it upright. And then a normal bottle over here for the Americans. And some beer because we're probably going to have to do that. So let's just grab that. Alright. Uh, gorse brick. That's hilarious. A missing brick, of course. A drinking can. Just some soda on the ground. Oh, a cigarette. That's actually pretty good. That'll be perfect. Oh, they were using the plate like an ashtray. That broke the plate. Alright. These plates are too damn delicate. There we go. Except not exact. Oh my god. Hold on. Alright, screw that. I'm just gonna put the plate here. It's too delicate! Hold on. Let's just make that a smaller cigarette. How about that? There we go. Is that still just as heavy? Yep. Alright. That's okay though. Now that it's smaller, it'll be okay. And then we'll put a big fat cigar on the uh, German side because why not and by that I mean I'm just gonna use the normal size as opposed to the um, small size that I just made we could build like I guess we could put like a piece of roof in the ground here just like that no let's delete that that's worth that doesn't work there toss more stuff. I want it to be like a proper bat. Actually, that's pretty good. Here, let's check, listen for anything that's s like twitching or exploding. It doesn't sound like it, so that's good. Alright, let's save it, and then we'll fill it with people. Wait, let me make sure, because I did add a person here. I just need to delete all the extra people. And we'll add mortars if we want to, but mortar the mortars are kind of glitchy and also mildly epileptic, so it might be better to leave them out when we save it. Please tell me that that was the same name you give the other one. I guess if it isn't, that's okay. We'll be able to tell by the uh, icon. Well, actually, no. Uh... Maybe I'll delete the other version. That'll be the easiest way to do it, I guess. We'll delete the other version, and then we'll add people to this one and save it. With people. Alright. Wait. Trench war for map. Trench war map. It did overwrite. It just didn't tell... Oh. Error. Error loading something. I can't read that. Well, that's okay. It's this one that has all the stuff in it, right? Yeah. Because it has our crate and stuff. 
and it has this crate in it. Yeah, all right. So we'll just kill this one. All right, and then we'll add people to this, save it, and then we'll actually get to some proper warfare because right now it's kind of <coughs> it's not really doing anything. All right. All right, did it save though? It did save the other version though. Yeah, all right. Now let's add ourselves some people. So this side's the Germans. So we're probably gonna put in like, you know, a German soldier, except I don't think I have that particular. So we'll probably just find some two differently colored soldiers homeless guy oh I should pause time for this because I don't want a person to accidentally spawn like these two would work like one could be the American I mean I feel like this would be more fitting for the Americans and British so yeah let's we'll just keep that one in mind and then we'll keep looking that's a inmate I guess we could do these as like the Americans, but I don't want one to be more more um, detailed than the others. So we'll probably just go with the first one that I found. That's just the hat, all right. Pennywise, that's hilarious. We have all the uh, armor pieces that don't seem to be working. Otherwise I would just take humans and toss a bunch of stuff on them. Stalin. Oh, actually, that'll work for the Americans. Let's just toss these dudes in the Americans. Alright, so. I'm gonna put one up. Alright, well, we'll put one in the trench. Put one up here. We'll put one here. One here. And one here. And then we'll put one here. Maybe just move that ceiling up just a tad so that he doesn't smash his head to pieces on it. That's still a little bit low. Whoa, somebody just had a seizure. You. What is your problem? Oh, he's fine. Never mind. He's good. Apparently this crate... Well, duh. Obviously it's going to be very explosive. I tossed a bunch of grenades inside, so I shouldn't be surprised. We'll have two dudes in the trench. We'll have one dude out here. And we'll have one dude on the other side here, just chilling. Alright, that should be enough. Oh yeah, we'll toss like a random dude here and we'll have him like cowering and we'll shoot him in the leg so that it looks like he's like hurt, wounded. But not too powerful of a shot because I don't want to actually kill him. I just want to like put a hole in his leg. Why was that so laggy? And then let's bandage that. So let's, we'll pretend like he got field bandaged. So he's here with like bandages on his legs and horrific pain. Alright, I can't, I have to make him just cower. He's in shock. That makes sense, for sure. Alright, now let's grab our Germans. I don't know who we're going to use as Germans. Possibly just the uh, other soldiers in the different clothing. Let's see. Uh, we've hit the bottom, so yeah. Let's just see if those other soldiers that we had will fit without looking too different from the uh, dudes that we have in the German trench. Or in the American trench. Oh wait, this actually... Wait, hold on. Let's compare these. These are actually very similar. Except I think I'm going to give them, get them in the uh, darker green. No, let's get them in this color. That actually works pretty well. Alright, so we'll have one here. We'll have... That's physics. Physics 101. They didn't teach you that in Physics 101 for sure. That plate just spontaneously broke. We'll just pretend that they weren't using a plate, I guess. We'll have this here, and uh, that'll stay, I think. Actually, I should put that in the other trench. No, I want you to sit. 
I need to make everybody sit, actually. Like, these dudes will sit. And then maybe I can scoot the whole table closer, not too close. Can I scoot the chair back? No. But can I, I bet I can move this wall back. Let's move the whole freaking wall back. That's a normal thing people do, right? Not that much, just enough to give some actual freaking room for the dude in this chair to sit. He hit his head on the TV and knocked the chair forward too. Because why not? There we go. And we'll put a dude here, we'll put a dude up here for sure. Alright, and that should work. Oh yeah, we'll put a dude here in this tre in this little, like, you know, in this divot. We'll give him the uh, liberator. Uh, we're gonna have to arm all these dudes, by the way. We're not just gonna leave them without weapons. Alright, I think we're ready to start arming them. So, the dudes down here are gonna have actual, like, pistols, so... Or, they're gonna have pistols and shotguns because they're in a trench, so why would you... Have oh yeah, these dudes need to sit. Sit down. All right, that's fair enough. The plates are too delicate to use, it seems. So we're just not going to. Hold on. Can I grab you without grabbing anything? I can. What are you doing? Stop disobeying the laws of physics, please, and sit in the chair like a normal human being. Pretty please. There we go. Alright, um, I need to grab another American soldier real quick. Oh good, I can click and drag. That's actually very helpful. Alright, let's grab another American soldier for this. There we go. Now then, let's arm these dudes with weapons of different kinds. Do we have a trench shotgun here? World War Rifle? Not any information on what? It doesn't look like they actually, like... Th Alright, these names are dumb. They don't actually have any, like, proper names, most of them, so... Let's just go with, you know, the actual proper ones. Alright, uh... Need to make sure to pick weapons for the right size. The the uh, M18 was a rifle that the Americans used, so I'll I'll let it fly here. Why are you standing out in the open anyway? I'm gonna grab you. Uh, maybe he was supposed to go here, but ended up in the wrong spot. Whatever. We'll just toss him over here with his friend, and this dude will get an automatic. Something that's proper for the era. Perfect. Uh, Thompson is actually, like, exactly perfect for this. We'll give this dude his, uh, a Thompson because... Why not? Some of them need proper weapons, at least. There we go. Grab that. Now uh, this dude... Oh, that's a long P90. Alright. Um... Right. Um MP5 is not a World War Two era. World War One slash World War Two. Uh I guess we'll just use I wanna use the Doom shotgun, but it's probably super overpowered, so I'm just gonna use this shotgun that's in the game. It's nondescript enough to look like Okay. It's too bad that the physics in this game is not great. That's fine. I guess we'll give you a revolver that's proper. A 44 Magnum? Sure. I think that's a modern, but then again, it might be a little bit more powerful, but it probably won't make too big of an issue. And we'll just toss that on your lap so you're not actually holding it. And then this dude over here will have another pistol of some different kind. Probably a 1911. Wait, no, this one, dude, has... I want to kind of diversify. Actually, no, technically, in the army, they they wouldn't be diversified. It would be like, some people have revolvers, some people have 
piss some people have 1911s and that's it but it's whatever all right now what other weapon do we have that we could USP that's a German weapon I, don't, I mean you can't really tell I guess so you know Glock 17 yeah 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 but we don't want that we want something that's proper to the era Wait, I should probably pick an automatic for this dude actually because I don't know if does this dude have an automatic he does he has a Thompson probably give a Thompson to this dude too then. where is it I mean, I guess I could give him a Golden Thompson. Oh, never mind. I don't have that in here. Oh, yes, we do. Never mind. It's just got the uh, straight mag variant as opposed to drum mag. Oh, there's actually a shotgun here. I'll just give that to you. We'll delete this. And give you the Mossberg. And actually, we'll give this dude a Mossberg, too, because... Only one other dude has a shotgun, and that's not right. Why can't I grab your hand? There we go. There we go. And you, my friend, will get some form of... Not a Negev. I need... I. Somebody just did something down there. I don't know what. <coughs> oh, that's the uh, Russian roulette revolver. We don't want to use that. It's a mod I got. It starts with only one round in the cylinder, and I don't know if I can set that and then save it. So I'm just looking at this. You can have a normal revolver. That's fine. All right, this should actually work. Um, this dude needs an automatic. Why is the Thompson so hard to find? I guess I can search. Is it TH? Yeah, it's like a Thompson. Never mind. It's not popping. Why? If I spell it like that, it doesn't. Oh, there it is. You have your Thompson in your spot. And then this dude over here had a Thompson when he got shot in the leg and somehow survived. Oh, let's give him a knife too because he is stranded in the trench, so. I mean, I know there's two knives in that crate, but it seems reasonable that he would have one of his own careful not to stab him there we go alright now that pretty much solves fixes up the Americans now we have to mess with the Germans so let's find some proper weapons custom pistol hold on what do you mean by that does that mean that the uh, yeah that just means that the uh, person who made the mod it's their custom pistol not that you can actually customize it alright it'll be easier to work with the work with this because um there, I have a lot more German weapons for some reason. I say as I have a hard time finding anything. Just give me a minute. I'll scroll down and then we'll start seeing quite a few. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Alright. Uh, Luger here for you and for you because you should both have one. And actually you too. Because I don't know if I have a German shotgun. I, I guess we can use the uh, base game shotgun if we need to. Just move your hand just a little bit so you can grab this thing. There we go. And we'll put it in position like so. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a... We'll put a pistol here for this night. What is spazzing? It's something over here. Is it you? I don't think so. I d but then again, it it sounds like it's coming from you. It is him. I think I fixed it. I mean, it wasn't loud enough to really be able to tell where it was coming from, so even if it is just part of the map, it won't be an issue, probably. Alright. Let's find something for you. Infantry did in fact have car 98s. That was actually a pretty standard infantry weapon, which is fascinating. That's not how you hold a car 98. Hold it like that. There you go. Don't fall down, please. 
Did you just kill your friend? Dunkel. That's not a German word. Actually. I think that's Latin. Same difference, I'm sure. I, w I can't really call him a shisa. I He actually died from that, are you kidding me? Luckily we can inject him with some life syringe and it won't be an issue because... Why does it lag when I do something? Alright, don't hit yourself when you stand up, please. Here. Did I just snap his neck again? I snapped his neck again. Of course I did. I just need him in a position where he's not gonna kill himself every time he gets revived. Alright. Now, stay still. Grab your pistol. You're fine, alright? Just, just obey the laws of physics. Alright, now this dude here will also have a pistol. Do I have... I'm gonna grab a Mauser for him because two dudes already have Lugers. I have like three different Lugers as well. Come on. Alright, we need to give somebody an MP40. You will have an MP40. I do like that it has a stock. It makes me happy. Because, like, every other MP40 and every everything else has no freaking stock. Like, the MP5 as well. Like, n for some reason, nobody ever uses the stock. Which is upsetting because it's... It makes the gun look nicer and also it's more practical that way. See? Nobody... This isn't MP5. It's just called Submachine Gun because it's a game item. Which means it doesn't have any proper information about it, but it's an MP5 and its stock is not extended and it never seems to be- ooh, a Sten? Ooh, that'll actually be a lot better for you because that was weird. There you go. A Sten makes more sense because it has a side mounted magazine which means you can actually like trench crawl which means you could Tr like you could prone and stick it underneath the barbed wire and shoot people that way and then we'll, I guess we'll give an mp40 to you then I think it is actually relatively um, better at range than the Sten if I remember correctly but I don't actually know alright I think that's everything I think we have all the people set up with actual weapons you have a Luger I meant to give you a... No, I meant to give him a Mauser, but then I found something better. So let's just find a Mauser. I may or may not have only one Mauser mod, so... Bear with me as I continue. I mean, probably nobody's watching at this point. Because nobody tends to watch through any of my videos. So, like... You know... I mean, I would love it if people did, but facts are nobody actually cares about my content. They just click off after the first, like, ten seconds, so. It's not like it matters if I really, um, do it. Actually, no, I should give you a shotgun because nobody else has one. So let me just... <coughs> <coughs> I'll give somebody a Mauser, though. I'm gonna delete this and give you a Mauser. Alright. Where's the shotgun? There you are. Now don't kill yourself with it. We'll just save collisions on it because you're in a trench, so it's gonna be hard to uh, really hold it right. Alright, that should work. I think we have everybody armed. Oh, actually I should give you a knife since you're on the front lines. It doesn't... Knife, knife wise, it, I don't really care. Because it's not like I have any knives that are specific to different countries. And it's not like it matters. The reason why I chose more specifically is because that would actually be... Ident like, I could try and find a K98 fighting knife, which frankly actually has, like, the same name as the uh, Car 98, the Carabiner 98. Which is kind of fun. Alright, um, we'll pause the game temporarily just to make sure I looked everything over. Maybe we put a crate in here, actually with like something nice but not too nice 
Is it too big? No, it's actually a pretty decent size. We'll just toss it right here. Uh, and now we'll toss, like, some random ambient sounds inside, obviously. I'm kidding, of course. It's just the map keeps making random sounds. And we'll toss you in. That didn't work. Moving around the axe is super weird. Oh, time is not frozen. That's my bad. Alright, we'll just toss that in there. We'll toss a hammer in. Uh, probably not any more melees, actually. I don't want to overdo it. Toss a couple grenades. The, uh, not the half-life, too. Uh, Molotov cocktail. And then we'll put a super nice pistol on top. Possibly a future, uh, like a modern... Actually, no, I think the 357 is actually pretty good. And let me actually... Because I remember in the last episode, when I gave somebody it and then proceeded to fire it, it blew... I, I shot myself in the head when my character was holding it. And it proceeded to blow his head off and flying around the map. It made a similar sound to that when it was bouncing around the map. So, you know. Alright, I think that completes it. Maybe toss some, one like one or two more things. Oh, let's toss some nails. What? What just? Oh, it looks like it was the Molotov. All right, well let's. Let me extinguish all this. Just by doing that. All right, I c apparently can't. You good? Do I need to use a fire extinguisher? No, alright. Grab ourselves our crate again. We'll grab all of you. Toss you. I think it was the Molotov that exploded. It's the only thing that really could have, I guess. Alright, no more exploding. Maybe I accidentally hit it with an axe or something. We'll toss some more brass knuckles. And then we'll, like, nail a few nails into the top. Ooh, 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 nope. I keep losing grip on things. It might just be due to lag. Right, that looked like it worked. And then we'll toss another nail in. Those are going like really far in. Right, well then we'll just leave it on the top. And I put the magnum inside just because. And by that I mean it was more of an accident. But I, I don't really care. Alright. Now I think we're actually ready for combat. There's a random dude out here. Alright, and we can do stuff like, we can do like the mortars that I built last episode and stuff like that. Alright, let's just save you. I'm glad that the, the bar allows for that much space. Let's just wait for it to work, and then we'll get to actual combat by throwing bombs and stuff all over it. Which is gonna be great! Is it still recording? We'll see in a second. Maybe. It is! Kind of? Maybe? Oh, there we go, it's working now. Uh, and we've actually have not been recording for as long as I thought we were. So that's great. Oh, is it running again? There it is. Alright. Now let's start the battle. We could put in tanks if we want to do some of that. First, let's fire some, like, warning shots, I guess. Oh, no. These dudes are like, oh, no. Alright, now let's get our mortars. I think I'm willing to risk the, uh, lag. 
They really do just like tank the game's functionality though. Let's just put like one right here. We will freeze this so that it's... Is that... The fact that it's on an edge like that makes me nervous. I'm just gonna put it flat. And then we'll put another one on this side. Hopefully there's enough room here that it won't... Alright, that looks like it won't hit anybody. Alright. And we'll put one more around. That was really not good. We'll just say he was uh, killed in action. Why are your collisions enabled? Right, we'll toss one right there. And we'll toss one right there. We'll make sure to disable collisions on you because that was very bad. Alright, now we'll grab this whole or around. We'll toss it in like so. We'll press follow so we can actually see what's happening. We'll zoom out a little so we can actually see. It's firing. That's not going to make it to their side, I don't think. Oh yeah, that made it right to the crate, actually. And somehow did not blow it up. That's surprising. Alright, well. I do kind of want to do that a lot more times. So actually, this is the best place to store them. Because it's... Actually, it's essentially just a room that's just here. And since I'm putting them, I'm loading them by using freeze time mode, I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't have to worry about getting them through that wall. Alright, so let's follow, fire another one back. Yeah, that, I don't think these are making it. Oh, this dude is so dead. Is he somehow he's somehow alive I don't freaking know yeah I don't think there's actually fire far enough to hit the other side of the battlefield the angle is I think too extreme actually I think that's what our issue is that not activate yeet These mor these mortars aren't as good as I th as I wanted them to be. I don't think. All right, hold on. Let's just grab our entire assembly here, and we'll just angle it at like more like forty five degrees instead, so that it actually fires more realistically. Or sorry, not more realistically, just fires. That might actually be too far, but I don't know. Well, that is too far. That is going. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was going to hit the sniper and just wreck him. Alright, so that's too far. We know that. So let's just grab you and angle you back just a tad. And maybe that'll provide us with a good shot that might actually... That might actually end up in, like, their trench or worse. Or, sorry, that's not exactly what... Oh god. That could have been worse. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just act like it landed like right here on their mortar. Which then proceeded to disable it, so now it doesn't work. And now it's like, oh no, this is war now. And then these the Americans are going to fire the rest of their mortars because they still have a mortar, as opposed to the Germans who now are mortarless. We'll fire some more. That. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, how did that do? I kill anybody? Nope. It did some damage, but not enough. Alright, they have one mortar left. And let's just, like, offset this. Not like that. Let me uh, just uh, fix that. Let's try that again. That didn't work either. Why didn't that work? Alright. 
we'll just offset that so that it doesn't actually no let's put that back in its normal spot and we'll just delete the uh we'll just go in and try and delete the uh I guess we can do that like so so now it's not only going to be inaccurate but it's also going to have no uh well, quote unquote fins, so it's not actually gonna even land correctly. <laughs> and that sent a piece of debris right back at the Americans. Alright, now let's delete these before somebody gets tased. Also, just for la for performance, I hear somebody actually thrashing around. They Somebody might have gotten hit by a piece of debris. Or you might have just fallen. He just fell he's just tripping over a crate, which I'm going to delete because there's not really a reason for a cardboard crate to be in here anyway. Alright, now we're going to send soldiers from either side. So we'll take this dude. Do the fact that they're not realistic. Actually, yeah, let's just use realistic humans for the dudes that we actually want to control. So let's just get ourselves a realistic human here. We'll arm him with a something an American something preferably but it's not going to be a specific thing I don't think I don't know if the golden weapons are more powerful or not so I'm not going to mess with them perfect alright and control human let's uh, follow I swear to God, if you kill yourself on the... B oh my God, hold on. Chill. Chill. Damn. And he's just gonna walk his way. Over this button that is... Somehow halting his progress entirely. Alright, let's just grab him. He's like waving the gun around. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's funny either way. That didn't work. Oh, never mind, it worked. And he's like... <laughs> he's, he's moving around like he's... I know he's not like actually physically... Like, he's not tr trying to do that. Stop. Stop. I demand you to. St I command you to stop. Dude. He's essentially being like a sniper scout, kind of. Stop. Spazzing, child. I swear to god, this dude. I can't even grab it. Ah! Just, like, go over right here. Give me the gun. Oh, I do have hold of it. No, I don't. Alright, stop. Just let go. Maybe if I give him a different grip? No, he simply cannot wield a gun for some reason. So we'll just pretend he went... What? Oh. Okay. And he opened fire and took out their sniper. Jesus. Wow, that was a good shot. And he's over here like, ha ha, wait, what? What is... Apparently, uh, doing anything like that breaks the game. That dude's like that. And this dude's like, I'm gonna fry him because he killed a dude. Actually, no. I don't want to shoot this dude right here because he's not proning. And this dude got shot in the head, but is somehow still alive because apparently this 10 sucks. And so this dude comes up and over the barbed wire. And he's like... And kills the dude, and he's like, Egh. 
just dead. And this dude's, and he's like, yay! And then we send another person, which I'm just gonna choose a human because I, but because the, uh, the, um, smart humans aren't exactly working out, as you can tell. So we're just gonna use our, uh, w the uh, one that we actually chose. I'm just actually gonna have like a bunch of these dudes. Oh, that uh, that's how we'll do. We'll have a bunch of dudes back here with different weapons. So we'll have this dude here with something that's proper to there. All right, we'll do this. We'll, this dude will be like our spy, which means he's gonna be sneaky beaky. We'll grab this dude to Thompson. Please grab it. Grab it, child. There we go. We'll also give this dude a Thompson because that was like the most common primary style weapon for the Americans, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll give this dude a revolver. Wait, that's the uh, roulette revolver. We don't want that, right? Yeah. But we don't want something that's extremely overpowered. A 1911, sure. Sir? Please grab your service weapon. Thank you. Alright, and then let's go to the other side. And grab our other soldiers. Over here. How many did we put? Over here? Five? Alright, well, we'll put five over here. You do notice that they... You may notice that they have actual variation in height, which I think is a cool feature. There it is. This dude. Chill. Why do these dudes tend like have seizures sometimes? Alright, um This dude gets an MP40. This dude will get an MP40 without a stock. Because why not? I didn't give anybody a shotgun. That's probably that'll probably be fine. I mean it's not like it actually matters. Alright, um I'll give you a revolver. He just stole the other dude's gun. Don't you love it? There we go. It was just too far away. Alright, uh, PPS, no. Uh, let's do a car 98 for one dude. Dude. Alright. And then this last dude will have this gun. I know it's a modern one, but it's whatever. It's not like there's going to be too much difference in damage. It's still from the same country, so. Alright, and they're going to send their Sten soldier, actually, in retaliation. L actually, let's just put him in this building here. Like so. And then he comes up with his Sten and puts it right here where we're going to uh, attach it via bipod and also move it up a little and also detach his hand from oh my god let's just uh, fix that I just heard something zap for some reason I'm gonna act like I didn't hear that stand up See, you're fine, you're fine. And so he's like... And this dude's having a freaking seizure! This battle's going so slowly because it... Yes. Uh, Why? I wanted to show you something that... I think he just set off a grenade. 
Oh god, this dude's on fire. That looks fun. Hold on, I want to extinguish him. That didn't seem fair to me. Actually, wait a second. Then again. It'll have like some. You know, if I could keep a hold on it, I would be able to put him out. Is he dead? He's dead. Something else is burning. Uh, it's something that's not on the map, or it might be part of the map, I guess. Let's just grab our soldier again. We'll put him back. This is so tedious. Alright, I just heard that f a fire go out. I think it might just be like some of the plate pieces and stuff on the bottom of the map. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's probably these planks that are still here because that only makes sense. That's a lot faster. I don't know why I was doing it the other way. We'll have you here and delete this. And he got him straight in the face, but he's actually fine. And then this dude's like, despite being wounded, he opens fire. He opens fire. Aim, please. There we go. And he absolutely nails him. And now there's just a sten here on the ground. And in retaliation, they send out one of their soldiers, who's going to be a stealth boy, actually. Let's take our stealth soldier. Ooh. And we're pretending it's nighttime, I guess. And it just sneaks up. All stealth-like. And now he's down here. But let's give him a knife. He stole a knife from... The body of the other day, the other dude. You know, if he didn't spaz every time. Alright, and so he sneaks up. He sneaks up and he's like, hey, 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 hey. Actually, yeah. I mean, if the, uh. I guess if the, uh. Americans get a stealth dude, then why not allow the Germans to? Or rather the other way around. Wait, no. Never mind. And what I meant by that is I'm gonna get as uh, they get their us. Uh, oh no! There's an enemy in the trench! And then he was very dead. This dude also got wounded though. Um, hold on. That's not what I wanted. Give me a second. Alright, we will carefully. That's not carefully at all. Alright. We'll lift him up and we'll take this body. And we'll disable collision. And then this dude's like knocked out, but he did manage to blow this dude's head off. And then this dead dude, they get a, uh, replacement for him and by that I mean I'm going to grab another sniper this dude that's not something I can use that's just an item which won't help here anywhere um we will take this man and freeze it's just a body on the floor or actually hold on let's Let's grab this and toss it out here, and then we'll unfreeze his legs. Well, first let's, yeah, let's unfreeze, and then we will refreeze. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll take this whole thing, and we'll go disable collision except for you, and then we'll enable collision. And so now there's a pistol here, and the, the rifle was already disabled collisions, so that works. 
so this was a really slow battle, but it's go it's happening. Um, let's destroy this crate. Let me uh just uh delete these mortars before they blow everything to high hell. You know, let's just delete these two because they're just kind of here and I don't see a reason. Alright, so now we have like a ton of stuff just lying on the ground. And then the Americans get bold and they're just like, screw this, send in the Turk. And this, we're going to use the same tank for both teams because as far as I know, I don't have a German tank. Why is the tank so fast? I don't know. But it like crests the hill. And these dudes are like, oh god, it's a tank. Fire! And they grab this. And they go. And somehow manage to blow everything up. There we go. And I'm retaliation. Uh, hold on, let's get some soldiers. Alright, we'll just pretend that it blew up the tower, alright? Which also killed the sniper. Reasonable. And then let's grab a bunch of people. We'll grab just some dudes just kind of chilling. Hold on. Let's uh, restore weight also. Hey, you. Stop spazzing and stand up. He can't stand up. He's horrifically wounded. The Americans made a big play and did a lot of damage in the process. Let's see how the Germans react as soon as I... There you go. We'll just add some people. Um, let me enable collision and then unfreeze. Alright, and so there's like a, a bunch of dudes here. And they're like, oh god, there's a tank, and the tank's like, and the tank goes and completely misses. There we go. This completely obliterates the tower. Or what was already left what was left of it. And then, you know, they kill the tank and the tank dies. Actually, let's just like get our tank and let's just like wedge it into the ground. We'll just like s have it like smash like that. I am so sorry to everybody who had to listen to that. Hold on. Why is it so loud? It was simply disable collision to all and then we will take this whole thing we will freeze it and then we will grab it and we will have it sunk like this and then we will enable collision of its turrets you know its turret its oh right uh I hear something going smashy smash that's probably the crowbar Alright, this crowbar is a pain in my ass. I don't know why it's so freaking laggy and broken. Oh, is this dude dead? Oh, damn. He got wrecked by that. T the tank finished him. It's too bad because he was an American soldier and he was actually extremely helpful. What is happening here? Alright, it's just seizing. I think part of the reason why I keep accidentally letting go of things is simply lag. I partially fixed it. Detach, please. Right, there we go. It's fixed. 
the tank is destroyed here. There's no clear corpses button. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, so these... The uh, Germans are pretty much dead here. But then they decide to do something, which is just great for the Americans, which is... Start a bombing raid. There we go. And there's gonna be some survivors. There's not just gonna be like entirely dead dudes. Like I'm gonna... Oh, this dude's alive. Neat. We'll delete you and delete you and then we'll... That's not... That's not who I want. Doctor what? <laughs> is that supposed to be a Doctor Who reference or is it just a doctor? That. I don't know. Alright. So there's gonna be like one survivor here. Sorry, one survivor like this. And then this survivor. We'll toss him about like so. And murder him in the process, apparently. Let's try that again. How about this? We'll set up we'll set off a grenade right below his feet. Was he dead? Okay, let's just grab him. We'll put him over here. He is horrifically crippled, but he's still alive. And we'll just toss him over here. Let's give him an unconscious dose. Inverse syringe. Alright, that's not what I wanted. I want knockout. Knockout! Just knock him out. Alright, hold on. Let's delete some of these corpses. It's not... Alright, and let's also give a knockout syringe to this dude. Of course, the lag is not helping with this. Let's delete you as well. And this dude in his little uh, pillbox slash foxhole. It's not a pillbox. It's definitely a foxhole for sure. Alright, let's delete some of this stuff. <coughs> and we'll unfreeze you as well. The barbed wire got blown to pieces and flung all this way, except for lag, of course. Here, I bet if we get slow-mo, we'll get better frame rate, yeah. <laughs> and then there's a dude who just woke up. And he's the first one to wake up, and he comes out of the bunker. That's the wrong soldier. Hold on. There he is. He comes out of the bunker and he's like, Oh my god, there's an undetonated bomb here. You know the really cool cast in Gmod? Yes, kind of. Um, I need the wink for that because I don't have it. Just look it up. I tried, I couldn't find it. Alright. It's like, oh god, there's an undetonated bomb. And then... It's, it's literally like the type of bomb that drops out of a plane, though. And then a stick from the tower, I guess. We'll pretend there's some wreckage here. Drops and goes... Hold on. I'm gonna, like, shield this dude. by putting I'm just going to put like a steel 
piece here so that you know he actually has a chance of surviving because I want him to survive. And we'll resize it so that it's smaller and stuff, but like. And this dude's like, oh god, get down! He's like, ah! And then he puts up the concrete wall. There we go. He puts up the uh, barricade door, like so. And then the bottle, boom! And it explodes, and actually, no, let's, uh, it flings this dude way out here because he was the only one that was in the way and he lands over here by this dude all dead and stuff. And then somebody randomly combusted in the distance apparently. I just heard something break. What are you doing tank cannon? What are you doing tank cannon? Hold on. Let's disable collisions. It's just broken I guess. There we go. It's kind of working now. So they, so the Germans maybe l like have severe casualties and stuff, but at least they're not as bad as the Americans. Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. So this dude's like really badly wounded here. And he leans against what he doesn't realize is barbed wire. And then this dude woke up and immediately <laughs> knocked himself out by hitting his head on a TV. This dude's like straight up passed out here. Oh wait, he's a lot. He is awake. It's just he uh, snapped his back, I think, or something. And so the Americans are like, "Screw this! We need to fight back." And do something. Give me a second to figure out what. How about this? They toss a specially, especially one of the uh, bombs that's like dry, that's controllable, and they what is here? And this dude's like, ah oh, shit, and then dies. Now there's a single German left. Perfectly crippled. You're dead, sir. A giant piece of shrapnel hit you in the head. Oh, uh, these dudes are actually still alive, a lot of them. Well, let's just uh, finish them off. And... Die, why don't you? There we go, he's dead now. And so there's a single German soldier left, and he's like, ah! He grabs the radio and he's like, that didn't really work because the lag, but that was supposed to be SOS. Hold on. Let's Yeah, that's SOS there, in Morse code. And then Germans are like, oh god, they're all dead. All of the dudes in the trenches except for one. And they're like, well, let's go kill the Americans. Because apparently the Americans don't have flat guns. And they're like, eww. And this dude who's barely alive is like, Oh god, there's a bomb on my lap. Hold on. Oh god, there's a bomb on my lap. And then gets blown to pieces. Of course. And this dude's... And then some German over here is like... Hey, screw you. Hold on, let me get, it, let me get out of a German real quick. Because we didn't really do any grenade stuff. I, ex I was kind of expecting to be able to do a more trench raid stuff, but it didn't really work here. But he's like, hey, screw you. And he throws a grenade and it goes 
And it lands right here, of course. And it blows up right in this dude's face, of course. It didn't blow up in the air. And kills him pretty bad. And he's like, yay, we're doing something. Oh, yeah, let's... This is some dude that... We'll pretend he uh, was a survivor that they dug out of the wreckage or something. Because they didn't have time to send reinforcements. Obviously, real trench warfare isn't anything like this. Anyway, so now there's this one American, and he's like, Oh, oh God. Hold on, let's shoot him in the leg for good measure. Apparently, that's a metal beer can beer bottle. Alright, now he's like horrifically wounded. Uh, and he's dying. But he also sends an SOS and then the Americans are like not mini nuke, obviously. And they just like drop, you know, just a normal type of bomb. Actually, no. Screw it. Whatever th this thing is. We'll do slow mo so that I can actually. And it hits right over here and goes. And sets this man's on fire, and then this dude simply bleeds to death in the trench because some knife. Where's. Oh, actually, no. Why not a nail, right? I'll just grab a freaking nail. Just pull it out. I need him to be bleeding so that he can actually like bleed out as opposed to him. He was like, ah, and shoots some, and then begins to bleed to death. Hold on, let's let's check his vitals so we can actually like have a dramatic scene here. There's his vitals up in the top right. He's bleeding. His blood pressure and blood amount is going down. He's like, ah. And he's the only survivor of this war. Or of this battle, rather. The Battle of the Trenches. And he's slowly bleeding to death. And his consciousness. Let's just pretend he, uh, he got knocked out because of pain and also lack of blood. Because it only seems reasonable. And uh, in real life, if he was actually this wounded, he would have definitely been knocked out by now. We'll just drop this on his head. And now he's apparently not unconscious. What do you mean? Hold on. Go unconscious already. You unconscious yet? I think he might be unconscious now. Alright, now let's continue and let's just watch him slowly bleed out. And you know what, since the battle is after all... Actually no, I'm gonna leave it here. Not leave the episode here, I meant. Well, I'll probably do that soon anyway. And so he just begins to bleed out. And he's dead. Alright, uh... We'll just save collisions of that. And then let's clear living. And now let's delete the guns and we'll save a another like a war aftermath save. So that we can do like some s some other stuff. Like so, and then delete. And then so let's just delete all the extra items. Hey yeah. All right. Mhm. Like that. All right. Well, just that's was okay enough. And now let's like put some stuff in the ground. Like it's been many years since the war ended. And the ground's kind of swallowed up items. Just 
There's so many freaking primers from the from the uh, mortars. It only seems reasonable that a bunch of stuff should be left from the uh, explosion of the tank, or, you know, we'll pretend like this. a lot of the stuff was inside. We'll delete that. And there will be some, you know, unexploded grenades, of course. Just buried. Like so. There's an old knife in the crater. Alright. I'll delete. Like, I'm gonna delete a lot of extra stuff. Yeah, let's just delete a bunch of this. And so this way we'll have like some aftermath, which then we can use. Or we can have somebody like coming to see, like, you know, coming to see the battle afterwards. So like, we'll have like some dude, maybe probably not a historian, but some Whoa, somebody come along. Whoa, what happened here? No, not like that. Like uh, somebody too, who got a radio message from the battlefield and came and came to see it and found what remains. <laughs> and I mean, one thing about the trenches in real life was that like, they um, it w when it rained, they would just like fill up like rivers, and it was bad stuff. It was bad for them. It certainly sucked. Because they, I mean, they didn't fill up entirely, obviously. Can I break you? Probably. I forgot to do this with the other trench, I think. There we go. Like that. Freeze you. Yeah, this is looking nice. We'll break off. We'll take all the shrapnel as well. That way we can have some like actual wreckage. Cause like these are actually pieces. Delete the extra stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's do the same thing with the other trench because I forgot to do that.
We'll have this one hanging by like a wire. We'll completely delete this, pretend it was like blown to pieces from the bomb that buried into it. There we go. I'm sure nobody's actually watching anymore, but that's fine with me. Well, I mean, people weren't watching after the first 10 seconds of the video, at least most of them, so, you know. All right. Give it a second and then we'll turn and then we'll uh, stop the recording. I hope you guys enjoyed, if anybody e was even watching until now. But. Can I turn off the recording right now? Maybe. I mean, nobody really cares about my channel, so it's not. It's unlikely anybody even watched this far unless they, like, skip to the end. Anyway, see you guys. Uh, yeah, that's what's left of the war. See ya!